Well, hello there and welcome back to Season 12 in SnowRunner. We are in the bore. We have the Seismic by Greater Unit and we're going to start taking on some of the contracts for this map, starting with more towers. So, a bit of a change to the way this works seems to be that instead of them being noted as, you know, north, south, east or west, uh, it just says first, second and third site. So I am pretty much just heading to the closest one I can for now, which appears to be second site. Um, although I am now going away from third site. I was going to say I'm getting closer to it. It was, it was getting closer, but now it's further away. So that I try the bore for this. It's uh, yeah, it's a bit of a big lad. I'm not even sure the kit will reach the ground. So what? 104 meters away. So I, I'm thinking it's up there, but we've got to head to there and, and then double back. Hence why there is a slight beeping going on now. Come on, you've got this. If you are just coming up to this mission, uh, I will marker uh, each location uh, once I've done the scan there so you can sort of see for yourself where it is if you're struggling or you, you just want an uh, easy solution. Come on. Huh. We aren't really going away from it as quickly as I had anticipated, but maybe that's because we were quite slowly. How far to that junction? Another 100 meters. Come on, boar. What's our power to wait here? A plus. Just that occasional water slowing us up. After this, we're gonna do what's it like? What's it called? Like solar panels, and then there's the mission to. I presume it's for rebuilding the uh, satellite dish or the you know the antenna dish on the central island. And depending on how long those take, we might do something else. Right, this is the way to get up into the hills. So a third site might be near one of those bridges. You know, the um, Logistic 2 bridge, I think it was. That we did last time. Might be around that area. Come on, get the traction. You know you want to. Wheels trying to do a lot of the work at the minute. Back, back wheels, not. Hmm. I don't know, they're doing okay. Oh, wow, did you see the wheel? It went sideways then. There we go, beeping's back on. We're within 150 meters. to scratch my nose. I didn't want to crash. Right. Do we go left or right? I'm going to say left. We're only gaining a small amount. Wait, it just changed by 30 meters, what? 65, 67, 70? Oh, is it gonna be like in here? Where's 70 meters? Well, it's not gonna be that way. Or is, oh, or is it there? Ah. 
I think it is. Maybe that's... Well, it still doesn't really change, explain why it changed by 70 meters. Uh, 30 meters. I think it's up here. Yep. Definitely is. Right, so this is the location of the second site. Let me zoom out. So, from the garage... Northeast. There's a little, there's a picnic bench there. There it is. There's a picnic site. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a campfire. Right, next site is 360 meters away. I, I'm thinking it's sort of over here. Maybe it's there. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess that it's there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reset to the garage, and we're gonna try and drive up this bit. See how that goes. Because look, 343, and third site is 338. So I, th I think that might be a fairly good guess. I can assure you I've not looked it up. I'm just using reasoning and deduction. Right, am I going to be able to get up there? Maybe through this section. Come on, boar. Oh, this thing should have big tusks. I suppose the thresholds at either side of the bonnet could be the tusks. They're fairly, they're fairly huge. Oh, it's quite narrow. Um, oh, yeah, maybe I'm not getting up there with this. That's quite, that's quite steep. Okay, we'll go further along. We can use the track. Where you dragged, uh, where you know we dragged the Hummer uh, last time. Oh, that's that's quite. That's suddenly very deep. That's quite Vicar of Dibley esque in depth. For uh, for what you can see is moderately shallow. Two thirty through, yeah. This, I think. I'm wondering if the campsite thing, or the you know the fire, is is the giveaway. A very itchy nose today. Uh, hopefully, I'm a bit louder this time. The previous episode was a little quiet on my end. I don't know why. I've changed anything. The other one being 200, uh, 1200 meters. This suggests it's down on the west side of the map. Or just south, really. Could be towards the substation. Right. Oh, really? Try and uh, speed things up a bit. Let's just double check the map. Yes, yeah, so we've got the two the two routes up there. I think I'm gonna have to go for that one. I shouldn't have issue getting over the boulders anyway. Well, ideally. It's going to be another crawler. I thought I was going to be able to sort of skirt around the edge of it, but nope, not having it.
Come on, tricky truck. I still uh, hold on to the notion that the Tega 6436 is pretty much the best truck for running this unit if you don't want to be taking too long. The the weight application just seems to be perfect for it. It's it's, uh, it's got a good pace. It's fairly compact. I mean, the Azov Six would be very good as well. Just it's a bit slower. Uh, can I get up here? No, I guess not. Come on, give it some welly. Oh, is there nowhere? Well, those aren't going to survive, are they? Oh no! Is there, surely there's a way up. What about backwards? Or if I can just keep. We need a bit more of a run up. It's kind of hard to see as well. Oh, I've got rocks in between the wheels. Oh, I can't even go backwards now. Come on. Oh, those... Ugh. The, it's the loose rocks actually making it worse. Oh dear. I went into that a bit too hot. I'm wondering if I could reverse, maybe. Which means kind of having to gently turn around. Just struggling to get the wheels turning. Oh, hello. I'd say we, we've. We've got further, but our wheels are stuck in that position. And then I have to steer around that, which then pushes me into that. Which... Darn. I'm not giving up. Stop pushing me into that. Oh. Wow, just the damage from not actually moving. Huzzah! If in doubt, try it backwards. Okay, right, we've just got to get up to the main roady bit. So the handling in reverse uh, isn't great. Could be worse. Man, I felt like I was st stuck down there for never. 
Maybe this wasn't the best truck for uh, this kind of mission, but we're making it work. I've used half the fuel tank. Right, how do we get... Oh, there's a scout fuel carrier. So we need to get down into there. Oh, I suppose it would, would be easier going that way, but do what I did in the loaf in the exploration episode and just go maybe going straight off the cliff with a nose this long is not the wisest idea. Getting some bounce and some roll. There's a lot of little, just little lips of ground, which are just enough to damage you, apparently, is one thing, uh, but to just, just be enough in the way that you can't quite move. Right, so this path goes down. Well, maybe I could reverse into the, the ditch. Or just go, just go down that section. Stop damaging the truck. Whoa! Wasn't expecting the the bridge. I feel like this truck actually messes with your field of view, you know, because it's so big. Um. Oh, forward a bit more, and then left. Left into engine damage. Gonna love to see it. Wait, oh, sorry, that, that small bush has stopped me. I think it genuinely did. Were we right? I think I was. Alright, so third site is here in the middle of this loop by a campfire and two benches. Okay. 1300 meters, that's 600. That's 1,200, so that doesn't seem accurate. What about, say, over here? Ooh. Could it be here? That's 12. Hmm. Down on this bit. Maybe up here. Very, very interesting. Right, what I'm going to do is drive south into town so I can get repaired and refueled. And then, depending on what my proximity is when I'm in this little town, we'll decide where we're going next. Right. Okay, we're in uh, Eastfield. In the current direction we're traveling, the meterage is decreasing at five meters per tick. Uh, so, I mean, it's not going to be there. Oh, hello. It might be there. 
It might just be there. Just tucked away. And it just happens to be 784 meters away. And I'm 783.8, which is pretty close as far as estimates get. Let's see how we go through here. So we'll come across. We'll go across the bridge and then we're up onto the South Island. Okay, so it looks like if we head towards the port and take the back road, that's going to be the easiest way to get to where I think the, uh, the point is. So refueled at the fuel station, had to do it just on the edge of the box as it was too tall to fit under the roof, which is handy. You know, these fuel stations need to factor in trucks so they're a bit, a bit bigger. Right, let's get up this hill. Of course, as soon as I pass another repair section and go off-road, I immediately take more damage. Climbing like a beast. To be fair, I didn't even read the blurb. The blurb for the mission might have actually have indicated uh, what exactly we, we were looking for. But it's called More Towers. I don't know, I don't know if it's for water. There you go, there you go. Oh, I'm in neutral. How long was I in neutral? Ow. I think we're on the right trail. Bit of low gear needed here, come on. The first sight is by far the furthest away. New task of Pipeline Bay available. I see. So, yeah. The three positions are one to the north by this campfire. Don't use that trailer as a reference, that's just one I've left there. You got that one there in the middle ring section. You've got this little homestead thing, and then just to the north northeast, you've got that campfire there. And the last one we visited down on the south peninsula. And you've got a little camp spot just to the southwest of the gateway to Flatland. And where is this task opened up? Is it this one that just happens to be right by the loaf? That's right, we can't waste a good hill and not build something on top of it. Why is... Okay, that's just doing its own thing. Uh, this one's easy. Just grab a radar trailer and bring it... Oh, okay. What does this require? Oh, really? Okay, then. Well, I suppose we're doing, uh, we're do oh, we have to take that one as well, which is currently uh, facing the wrong direction. And is also deployed. Uh, will it attach there? It will, somehow. 
Um, I'm not going to get very far moving it like this. Uh, Alright, let's see. Yeah, I know it's out of fuel. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Maybe I should try putting a bit of fuel in it. Right, will you work now and pack away? Okay, good. Right. Now it's not going to get stuck on absolutely everything. Ooh, that's a... Well, that's a screenshot, isn't it? Luckily, the ferry transport sorted us out. <laughs> Right, we should we should have enough fuel to uh, to get this up to the up to where it needs to go. Uh, I'll tell you what, instead of going all the way around, I'm just gonna go this way. I'm sure we'll be fine. It's the laugh after all. It's the people's champion. Look at that grip. It's just quite a bit slower when towing a trailer. Can I skip and go this way? Oh, that's a big rock. I can because it's so narrow. I'm just off oh, it anywhere. Wonderful stuff. Oh, it's going so well. Sam. This is, there's not not much to say on the reef. You just see me drive it up with the boar. So this time we're doing it with a trailer. Quite soon. Oh yeah, we've got this pond. Well, I'm gonna learn from last time not even touch the water. I'll just go around it. Because that was not good. And then we'll move on to some more contract work. Unless this opens up another task. And there was me thinking last time I'd finished all the tasks. I wonder how many contracts are going to unlock more tasks. Which is a bit annoying. And uh, you've got someone like me that would do all of one type of mission first. Followed by all of the next type. I don't know, it ruins the, uh, ruins the flow. Sometimes you've just got to detach and then give it a bit of a winch. Come on. That should be close enough. Oh, wow. Pretty much set off in high gear then. That's strange. Right, let's refuel. And we could take the uh, the quick way down. So we'll ha it looks like I'll have to come up here again for the solar panels. But it'd be interesting to see what uh, there's a few new warehouses that have been available to me. It'd be interesting to see what's in those. Whether you know, but I've done the miss missions in a slightly different order. Would it would save fuel potentially? Ooh. Oh no! Ah! Uh. Oh, the wheel to wheel. But not in the racing way. <laughs> there we go. Right, back into position for the trailer. Jobs are good, and up we go. There's a lot of a lot of grooves and bumps and rocks. What? 
Oh, I see. Yeah, that's stuck on the boulder. We go. Right, we're gonna pop this. For some reason, they're saying they, they want to build something here. Something. Talk about it later. Anyways, right in the. All right, so we've got filling space. Yeah, I'm not doing that yet. Oh wait, I drove past that, and it was illuminated as a. All right, I've decided to go firstly with it's all connected as the fem is already at the port and I need seven slots of cargo hauling potential. So having eight is just dandy. I'm just going to grab some fuel from this tanker it's when we eventually get close enough. Fuel, do 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 do. Rehitch and grab the stuff we need. This will be another lovely test of the truck. Although I've, I have already driven it quite a lot. Um, and you know this because I've reviewed it. Smashing stuff. Alright, oh, come on, please make the corner. There we go. Harden the brakes. Right, uh, eight left. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, the metal rolls are uh, from here, aren't they? What's the idea? Wait, what cargo does that Azov have? It hasn't... Are those consumables? Oh. So the box, it looks like it has tape across it. Those are consumables. Why wasn't the Azov highlighted? Oh well, we know they're there for next time. And there's only four more consumables in that loading area. So there is going to be a specific need for some more at some point. To be honest, I don't know really why they do the limited cargo thing. I mean, it, if it's exactly what you need, then you end up like losing one in the river or something. Are you just, is that it? Can you just not finish that mission? I don't know. I, I can understand limiting it where it then costs you to make more. Like for instance, or you you know, you use you turn one resource into another, for instance, taking logs to the sawmill to make various sized uh, planks. Like that makes sense. But just when you've got these factories and it's just, oh no, they need a generator. I, I'm not sure that this poxy little generator is going to run the factory. <laughs> Unless the factory only actually has like one metal press in it or something. So we'll have to connect the fem. Oh my god, am I going to get around this corner? The connect the fem to the generator at the metal plant and then reattach to the trailer and get into position. I like a glove. High gear, low speeds, that's fine by me. What a beast. This region is pretty much made for this truck. This amount of cargo. Come on! Just high gear all the way up. I'm really, yeah, I'm not really fussed about the fuel consumption. 
Oh, it has three metal rolls. Oh, I don't need to use the generator then. Wonderful. Or at least I don't need to use it yet. Okay. To the antenna array. I mean, I don't foresee anything being of uh, particular difficulty in doing this. There's, um, I guess, a bit of off-roading on the far side, but we've got the bridge, so... It's all connected. Right. Hi, gear it is now. Maybe flick between high and auto. Go into high when it gets like this. Or else we'll just go from fifth into first, into second, into first. And nobody wants to do that. Wide line in. Let the truck roll, just feather the gas. Ah, oh, perfect. Take out the sign, beep the horn. There's the sign. It's probably going to send me to the moon in a second because it's wedged itself in. Oh, it's wigging out. Ah! Right, I'm going to change truck. There you go. That's how you fix that. Oh, the broken uh, the broken pathway really messed with the steering then. Right, so this will be our first time on the central island when we you know when we get there. What's it gonna be like? This is what it's gonna be like. Wow, these bridge textures do not line up. It's probably the longest bridge in the game as well. There's a detour to the left. Okay. That's a huge mound to go around. Oh dear. Kind of like a roundabout. Right, uh, this is the way, right? Uh, no. <laughs> We're not going around the roundabout. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to detach. That's before I flip cargo over that I can't put back onto the trailer. Right. Follow the road. See, this is why you should check the map more, unlike me. Basically, as I've just thought as well, I should detach that as off from the cargo, or else it won't show up as uh, available. Oh, some water. Why is it muddy? Not every puddle on a road is mud. There's so much just water on the road. Use low gear. Nah. Why would I use low gear? Come on, give it some. We've got a nice view through the middle of the map here. All right, I might ease off here. Whoa, that's a serious dip. Oh god, oh dear. Come on, climb the rock. That's it. No detour there, is there? But no matter for this lad. 
Is that the office? Oh, we're going to get a cutscene of one of these things being built. I say cutscene, but you know what I mean. One of those ones where things just appear. These things are huge, but what do they have to do with hydrology? I don't get it. It's too bad I don't have a knack for science. I mean, you could just ask. Although they did ask, but... Um, you're like, oh, well, I'm not getting an explanation within the next 30 seconds. Oh, well. Um, these will probably connect to satellites that monitor groundwater levels from space. That's all I can imagine the use for in terms of hydrology. Uh, right, solar power is next. So I'll deliver two solar panels to the south, the southwest tower. I mean, that's more just like the west tower. And then up to the north tower. And then across to the northeast. Oh, I've got to go there again. Oh, that means we've got to go down and around. And, yeah, right. Anyway, so what's this? Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's eight slots of cargo. It's eight slots of cargo. Right, I'm going to get myself back to the port and then up to the metalworks. I'll see you at the metalworks when I'll be all loaded up. Okay, so we've got all of our cargo. We've got two metal beams, four solar panels, which covers us for the three sites that we'll be visiting. And uh, we're going to be taking a different route, which is going to be uh, this left turn here. I'm pretty sure it's the double left, yeah. So we're taking an oversized, very long vehicle on a windy mountain pass. So, you know, what could possibly go wrong? Right, we'll stick it in low plus until I feel a bit more comfortable with the route. I should probably watch forwards rather than uh, looking back at the truck. There's some, there's some interesting track canvas here, but I think just because of our sheer size, it's not going to be much of an issue. Monk steer, 35 litres a minute. Do you still have the fuel on the top, but we will actually bypass the fuel stop, like the fuel station, but we do have the crocodile, which I think still has some fuel in it at least. Please turn left. That's the maximum fuel consumption there, 35.7. Oh, I mean, it's a pretty steep incline, but we're doing it. Nice. Maxing it out. Okay, first delivery. So the metal beams are on the truck to keep the weight on the truck rather than behind it. So the panels are fairly light and the trailer is only going to get lighter. I was not expecting that noise. That genuinely made me jump. Ugh, that was a horrible sound. Why? Why did they put that in the game? Right. Oh, looks like we've got some rocky ledges down here. As long as we just take it easy. Oh, it's not that bad. Not that bad at all. 
Might be a bit more tricky with that puny small truck, but uh, not this one. Come on, round that corner. Round the corner, you got this. Just gotta be cautious of tipping the trailer over. Dab of brakes, full lock the other way. What tends to tip a trailer like this over is actually the wheel tracks because they're very deep and fairly solid. Let's just reverse that a little bit. If I can get the front, there we go, get the front to turn around. Uh, there's this part of me which says take it off the ledge just go as the crow flies because I think it could do it seems like an interesting downhill section I think with uh, with the same amount of cargo a lot of other trucks would really struggle from up here Oh, sugar, should I have gone the other way? I... I say the other way, that... Mm. It's just a bit... a bit rocky. I had to be fine. Wow, for a split second I thought I might have tipped over. Then uh, I, f I believe it's a it's a left, and this is sort of the in quotes main road where there should be. There it is. Our old friend, the crocodile, which says nervously. going to hop us into the crock. Uh, refuel. What have we got? 355 in the tank. That, whoops. That's kind of the way I meant to do it, but I didn't start by doing that. That's, uh, that truck being there has been so helpful. Would recommend this particular road. Just having a little fuel stop somewhere been accidental genius. Right, so the next delivery requires one metal beam and one solar panel. Which feasibly if I had a crane I would switch switch it so I didn't need to tow the trailer. Maybe, because I've got to head back to the main road. I can meet the truck with a crane and, and actually implement that. It'll be easier going uh, without a trailer. Okay, we're coming up on the road to the North Weather Tower. I'm not going to miss it this time. Wow, that again. We came pretty close. And my quick winch... Uh, attachment would not have been enough to actually keep us the right way up. Because I, I only fire the quick winch when I'm about 80 plus percent sure that 
I'm gonna fall over, no matter what I do. Um, yeah, that was close. That was very close. But anyway, right, we're gonna go through this little bog bit, up that hill, and then bear right. Okay, Ooh. mud, rubbish. Nearing that, yeah, I've, you know, these steel beams, man. If I had two on the trailer as well, whoa, it would be a real grind. I don't think it's worth trying to risk high gear, not in this position. Now we should be all right. Okay, it's leveled off. Although we're going up again, it's not too bad. But yeah, I think I'm definitely going to get this back to the main trail and meet it with a crane, so that I can shift the remaining solar panel uh, into the back of the truck. Right, I'm actually going to try this in high. Ali, up. But I actually did it. Come on. Come on. Yes. The power. Right. Prepare for a large, big thud noise. That is way too loud. Right. I'm going to get down to the main road, which is going to be a bit of a trek. what we've got to do now is head down to the main road then head south to Eastfield and then head back north to the place where there's only access really from the south. I don't see this truck really getting up the same way that the boar did. I think that would be taking the Michael somewhat. So um yeah, I'll see you on the trail. Okay, so... Here we have the truck and trailer, and a little truck with a crane. Oh, that was good positioning. Uh, it was a bit of a bumpy ride getting here with the Fleet Star, as I fell in a puddle and nearly rolled over. But, uh, that's... Right, that's, that's as good as it's getting. <laughs> Right, let's get this out of the way. Uh, let's put it in the grass, I'm sure. I'm sure it won't be forgotten about. Perfectly packed. What I'm going to try and do to save time is, uh, is go up here. It might work. It might not. I, well, I suppose I don't need to mark it the exact path that I'm going to take. Hmm. We will, you know, we'll see how it goes. We've got our last bits of cargo for solar power. I suppose fairly soon, I probably even the next uh, episode, look into exploring, I guess, reactive zone. It's the, well, it's not actually the be easiest to get to. Uh, the easiest to get to would be flatlands, I think. They might be about the same. But, uh, yeah, one or the other. Or an ultra-compounded cut-down one of uh, exploring both. Or even all three other maps. Why not? I don't know. I don't know. It takes some doing, to be honest, to, to, to hit all the tasks. But uh, let's concentrate on what we're doing so far. So as, you, as you can see, we're, we're moving a lot easier. It just shows you the difference a trailer makes, even when it's mostly empty. It's the extra resistance clawing at you. So the idea of the shortcut is to minimize, you know, having to drive all the way south and then doubling back to, um, to head up the mountain into this middle section. 
come on, get a wriggle on. And I'm hoping that just the sheer ground clearance and uh, size will help us overcome any obstacles. And it will require some bog driving. And we do have, well, I think it's 140 litres spare fuel on the roof. Right, that's... Unless, you know, the map just kind of lies to me again. In terms of the terrain would actually come across. Right, how deep... It doesn't really matter how deep this water is. If you saw the review video, you can see what this thing can drive through. And it is... Uh, it's anything. Right, as we're at the bottom, we're going to be fuel. And we're going to give this a go. I'm going for this because it's not too tree heavy. If there were lots of trees, I, I wouldn't be as keen. But what it looks like is old stream beds. As there's no soil. Or no you know, there's no grass, there's no substantial soil, and you can see bare rock. Well, I think we've just discovered ourselves a little shortcut. Although we're not out of the... Well, no, maybe we, maybe we can make that turn. I think if I go straight on... If I go straight on, that doesn't actually help, because then I would just be over... Actually, no, that does help. Oh, and there's the scout fuel trailer for the spare fuel top up when I get to the top. Poorly planned, somewhat well executed so far. you come up and around there and then there should be we came down it earlier on where the camera came through that bridge with the boar right interesting it's getting a bit leany oh there we go that's Fine, totally fine. Wow, that was an absolutely worthwhile shortcut. And just before we'll deliver, I'll show where that was. So this is where we loaded, we swapped the cargo around. So you head south until you get to these three bits of water and then you want the one that has like lines going through it. We go up through there, so we went to the right and then across up through that gap, across the road, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle to the bridge up the left side and boom. 16,000 dollars and perforated eardrums for completing that one which is where we are going to end it for now so next time um, I'm going to have to do the logging mission at some point I know. Um, I'm probably going to look into exploring probably reactive zone and you know, get in onto some of the other contracts and tasks in the area because what I did was I went through all the missions and highlighted uh, what was relevant to the map and it was only a few of the contracts. I assume more are going to open up. For, for instance, maybe I'm just trying to... But yeah, look, look at that one. So that one, you got to do the weather crisis which is not in that list. Oh, I hate when they're not even in the same list. Uh, oh my god, look at all these that are locked. 
Oh, it might have been in that list. I didn't see it, but it doesn't matter, you know. I mean, you can you can see the issue. There you go. There's another one. Power grid. Oh, wow. 27,000. But anyway, yes, I hope you have enjoyed. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Have a great day.